I can't juggle. I can go like this. That's a double juggle. For those of you guys keeping up, keeping up with the camping show. Watch out, Kim, I'm coming for you. Hey guys, it's Faraday. We're here at Joshua Tree and I've been camping. It's day two or three or who knows, it's the desert. It's just all kind of blurs into one fun day. And we're making chili mac. Every time I make this dish, people just rave about it. They love it so much and you're about to experience that. So sit back, relax, crack open a drink or two. Let's go. The sweet sound of the stove. So much better than the sound of nature. You know, using this as like white noise to drown out the sound of the birds is so much better than hearing hearing that, you know? Ugh, it's just the worst. We're gonna chop up two shallots and there's nothing I love more than squatting down to cook. It's one of my favorite things. Get real low and just go for it. Cause that's how you cook. We've got some butter here. We're gonna cook our shallots in some butter. Ooh, look at it go. Look at those bubbles. Add a little bit of oil in here. You know I love to add oil with my butter because we don't want the butter to burn. I'm not trying to make brown butter, you know, I'm just trying to have some melted butter. Just quickly, thinly slice these shallots. Shallots. Whoop. Add a little bit of salt just to help soften them. So chili mac is, you know, the marriage between chili and macaroni and cheese. They came together in a holy union and it, life has never been the same ever since. It's a beautiful thing. Really, it kind of popularized when it got put onto the menu um, in 1995 um, for MRE meals. Munchies, random eats, MRE. Some people think it means meals ready to eat. It's from the military, but they're wrong. It's from Munchies. We invented Chili Mac. So an MRE is a meal ration that were given to soldiers in the field. It's a really simple meal that's like ready to eat, essentially. And so we're kind of like breaking that down and making our own version of this. We're in the desert, we're in the wilderness, right? One of my favorite smells ever in the world is onion or shallot or something, allium, cooking in butter and oil. And that's happening right now. And I can only imagine the animals are probably going wild and they're like smelling. There's coyotes out there, there's mountain lions, there's bears. They're coming, they're coming. We're gonna add some ground beef and some Italian sausage into this guy. Spicy Italian sausage because it's chili. We love a pork and a beef because the beef is a little bit more leaner. Pork's pretty lean too, but adds nice fat and they go really well together. Just like chili and macaroni and cheese do. It's a, it's a marriage, it's a union. So we're just, we're just unifying so many things here. You know, butter and shallots, pork and beef. There it ain't red fit. That's another marriage that we could go with out here. Okay, we're gonna mince up our garlic and mince, roughly chop it, whatever. One of my favorite things to eat when I go camping is like a big, like a one pot meal. And this is like your quintessential one pot meal. Although I am using two pots because I do have to boil pasta. So maybe it's a two pot meal, but it's either way, it's really simple, okay? When you're out camping and you're sitting around a fire and you know, you hear the sound of your stove over the sound of the birds and nature and you're sitting there and you're like looking off in the distance, thinking about your future with Brad Pitt and... What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I think it was a hummingbird. It was. Yeah. Wow. Sitting here looking off in the distance thinking about my future with Brad Pitt or Pete Davidson, I'll, I'll take either. And a hummingbird flies by. That's, that is, that's a sign, I think. That's a sign. It's a sign. It's meant to be. Yeah, but which one? Who cares? Why have, why have your cake when you can eat it too? The more the merrier. Joshua Tree is the convergence of two deserts. It's the Mojave Desert and the Colorado Desert, and they kind of come together. So it's a really unique ecosystem. I did bring some guidebooks so that I wouldn't hurt myself. Because at the end of the day, I'm a city girl. I'm a city slicker. And I don't want to get eaten by anything. Our meats are browned. We're gonna add in our garlic now. And we're also going to add in some chili flakes. You could use chili powder, um, cayenne. I'm using chili flakes. I just love chili flakes so much, so boop. Right on in there. Add as much as you like, make it as spicy as you want. This is your life, do what you want, right? Back in the day when I was in college, my favorite thing to eat um, when I got really high, I would get beefaroni and I would get the macaroni and cheese and I would mix them together. I guess beefaroni is essentially chili mac, but like I would add extra macaroni and cheese into it and mix those and it was so delicious. Highly recommend getting high before you eat this. Just saying. Okay, we're gonna add some tomato paste next. Tomato paste is going right on in there. We're now gonna add to this some beef stock, okay? We're also gonna add some passata. So passata is like a tomato puree. It's basically 
fresh tomatoes uncooked with no skins and no seeds. No skins, no seeds, right on in there. Make it rain, passata. So tomato puree, okay? I like adding tomato paste because it's a concentrated tomato flavor. And then I'm using passata as well, a tomato puree, because more tomato flavor. We just want all that good tomato flavor. We're also going to add in some red kidney beans. I use canned beans. I drain them, brought, packed them in. It's great. We're going to add these on in there. Whoop. Chili. You don't like beans in your chili? Don't put beans in your chili. Don't give a fuck. The secret ingredient, which is not a secret anymore, because I'm going to tell you what it is. We're going to add a little bit of beer on in here, OK? Beer. You gotta have a beer in your chili, all right? Pop that open, pour some out for your homies. And then drink the rest. We're gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. It's gonna get real good. The sun came out, it's hot, it's feeling good. This chili is now perfect. Like, you can eat this as is if you got chili. But we're gonna big mac it up, you know? We're gonna give a chili mac attack to it, as, as it were. Our water's boiling as well, so we're ready to cook our pasta. It's all coming together, just perfect timing. We're gonna use maffaldini. I really love these little bits. They kind of remind me of like the frilly ends of lasagna. Like that's the best part of the lasagna sheet in my opinion is those like frilly bits. You can use whatever pasta you want, but like this shit's awesome. And that's gonna cook for about 10 minutes. In that time, we're gonna add some cream into our chili and we're gonna mac it up, all right? Ian is yelling at me that how dare I call this macaroni when that is not macaroni, clearly. But guess what? Go fuck yourself, okay? Go back to the trolls in the comments below and just get out of my face. Okay, and on that note, we are now going to take our cream out. We're gonna add the cream. We're gonna mac it up because this is the cooking show and we call macaroni what we wanna call macaroni, okay? Just call me Yankee Doodle Dandy. Let's go. Heavy cream right on in there. I'm gonna season this up. Black pepper right on in here as well. We've got the longest jalapeno in the world right here. We're gonna slice this up thinly and we're gonna put this on our mac. So our pasta's about ready. I'm gonna add our two kinds of cheeses. We've got our shredded cheddar and our shredded money jack. Right on in there. For our purposes, I'm just mixing the cheese in here and letting it melt and get super gooey and delicious. You could serve it with extra cheese on top as well, but honestly, like, I mean, look at this. Look at this, it's like just cheesy and delicious. That's insane. I'm just gonna use my little spider here to take it out and just add it right in there, all right? Look at that cheese. That's crazy. I mean, look at this. This is the cheesiest cheesy mac in the world. Plop goes the chili mac. Let's plate this up and eat it because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything all day besides my breakfast nachos earlier, but like, heck, watch that video if you want. This might be my masterpiece. I think every time I make something I really love in the cooking show, I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever made, but this might actually, it's not the best thing I've ever made, but it's up there. It's in my like top, 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 top favorite recipes. Look at this. It's comfort food when you're out camping in the woods. It's nostalgic for me. It really tastes like my college days of mixing crap together when I was stoned. Cook the recipe below. Go get outside and have fun.